Dice Man Enterprises exclusively presents a talk show that will get to the bottom of things once and for all. And now here's your host for Let's Get to the Bottom of That, a bunch of weirdos on a mic. What is up, my weirdos? Uh, this is Let's Get to the Bottom of That Podcast. We are live on a awesome Sunday afternoon, live streaming on Facebook, Twitter, Rumble, Instagram, and YouTube. There we go. Got it all. Somebody. <laughs> somebody help me. Uh, so this is going to be a little weird because uh, I get very distracted because I'm trying to run things, uh, but... Do not fret. Now, this show is going to be a little different because today I've got so many comments. Oh, by the way, sorry. Let me welcome into the show uh, another weirdo that's on. Oh, wait, there's nobody there. Oh, well, there we go. Let me go ahead and uh, there you're on. Go, Susan. Go. Hi. <laughs> uh, let me let me do this. I got to turn a uh, turn a marquee on. That way people know what's going on. OK, I just need to get rid of the screen because. It's distracting you. Yeah, it's distracting. So, how about that blowhole? Like my. Hair oh, you mean turn like, the fan off? You mean to turn the fan off? My coffee is getting cold. You mean to turn the fan? Just no, say it. It's fine. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, this today's show, we don't have a topic, but we are record. We are in studio recording topics. I wanted to do a live stream because I've got so many comments from the comment section, and I just dropped it down the rabbit hole yesterday, and we had a lot of comments on that show. And I, oh, there's no way I can get another show in the future with these comments sitting out there. Right, 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 right. So right. I wanted to do a live, I thought this was appropriate. Do a live stream, no topic, no pressure. By the way, if you want to be part of the show and give your own comment, call the show, 913-717-9979. That's 913-717-9979. And you can be part of the show. Leave a comment live for all the world to hear because we are now in the Isle of Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the show Isle of Man. It's which, a country which, between I've Great Britain and Ireland. So a population 85,000. Yeah, never heard of it. So uh, welcome. Uh, if you want to be part of the show, welcome into the show Isle of Man. Yeah, I was like, that's Just call made in. up. That's not real. 913-717-9979. We'll take your calls. But what we're going to do is just go through all the comments. There's a ton of them. That way, because uh, some of the people that leave these comments enjoy when they get shout outs. Well, sure. So, and I'm going to be distracted. I'm going to have to quickly go back and forth between cameras, between uh, Susan and I. You really don't have to. You can stay on you. I don't want to. I'm totally Because you're, okay with you're, that. you're very pretty and you're, oh. you look better than me. So they probably would rather see you. Whatever. Now, here's the deal. I apologize. I know we're live streaming. I apologize. I am not paying attention to chats. So if you're chatting on Instagram or, or YouTube, I appreciate you giving comments and chatting. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't have, I'm I don't, one person. I don't have the capacity to flip over and try to read comments uh, on the live stream. You need one of those people that you used to be. Yeah. What, what I need you? a producer. So yeah, that. that spot is opened up. So uh, unfortunately it's a bunch of weirdos on the mic now, not just three, because I don't know when there's going to be three, when there's going to be four or five or just one or two, but I just want to say a bunch of weirdos. Uh, so uh, shout out to Joe. We're missing Joey. And of course, Jason, Yeah, we got things. Jason's going. on People, sabbatical. People's got things going on. Joey's got some stuff going on uh, that is undisclosed at this moment, but uh, I'll let you, I'll let him tell it if he wants, but there you go. he's taking care of family business. And then of course, my lovely wife, Susan, always willing to step up to the plate Always and take the bat. Who is te- who is texting well, us right now? Well, the thing is this. I got to make sure that my 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 volume is up here. So if we get any calls, and if you want to call the show 913-717-9979 and it's also it's a it's a marquee not a marquee, what do you call that? A ticker tape. Mm-hmm. The ticker. There's a ticker right under our video right now that shows all of our socials plus the phone number to call in. 
So if you call in, we'll get you on the show and you can leave a comment. So you're, you're kind of giving off um, Rick Burgess vibes right now. What do you mean? Like, I like, can't be still like ADD. You know? I can't I, look. It's, yeah, I get it's that. awkward. Yeah. So I'm trying. So I got the screen up for um, for the voicemail. I've got the comments up. Now, here's what I want to ask you. Um, should I show the people because I can do this. I can show my screen and then I've got a little video of me on the side. Oh, sure, you can do that. And as I'm reading the comments, oh, okay, should, okay. should the people actually see the comments? Yeah, the people. Yeah. Well, the people. It's so, for the people. Um, I'm trying to figure out if, if I'm leaving something off. Um, we just dropped we just dropped a ton of episodes. Well, very Skinwalker Ranch is is blowing up. I wanted to just thank thank everybody for uh, all the support for listening, giving comments. Uh, Kurt Cobain blew up. It it didn't blow up as, as big as I thought it would. Down the rabbit hole we just dropped. It's blowing up like wildfire, okay. which usually is 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 a is a loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying because people are more topic topic driven. And I got one comment in here. I'm about to read at the end from Lil Guapo. Okay. He's one of our fans, a faithful fan, uh, that he mentioned something about the rabbit hole, and we'll get to that in a minute. But I feel like I'm missing something. You're good. We'll, you'll think All about right, it. All right, so I'm going to switch camera to you. Oh lord. And then I'm going to switch this. And then I'm going to do a screen share and then, and let's see, how do I go, <laughs> I'll go back and then what, I'm going to switch back it, to me since it, I'm going to be reading the comments okay. or should I put the camera on you? No, sir. I'm good. Okay. I don't. I'm Hold good. on a second. So right now everybody's looking at our screen. Okay. And you know what? You're going to be reading and you're going to say stuff and people are going to know that you're messing up because. Well, of course. Yeah. All right. Let's just start out with these comments. So if, well, by the way, if you want to call the show 913 913- 717-9979. Now, I can only hope, and I do this every time we live stream, is it working? <laughs> <laughs> is 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 the live stream actually working out there? Well, sure, sure. Uh, do we you, just don't have anybody calling because well, people are doing check, their own thing. check with our friend in Alabama, oh, okay. the old Susan, because she was texting and actually asked her because I think she was going to join. I did see uh, Turtle Man joining on Instagram earlier. So... There's just, I don't want to flip over and look at any comment. Maybe you can check the, the, the live stream and see how it's doing. I would if my battery you don't was even almost care. dead. Well, here's my phone. Um, All right, here we go. Uh, we got a lot. So this this is going to be a short show. We don't have a topic. It's going to be quick, to the point, and we've already wasted about uh, 12 minutes of your life so far talking about nothing. But we're going to do comments, and then we're going to end the show, end the live stream, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'm going to publish this as just a one-off so everybody that didn't, Join us on the live stream, can hear all the comments. And people that don't care about comments can just skip it. Right, right, because there's some that do. Okay, here we go. This is um, username redeemed by the king. Uh, this is from the Spotify mobile app, and he this was on the Epstein episode. He said, uh, great job with the Epstein stuff. I think an episode about the Finder's Cult and or the Franklin cover-up would be interesting Overland Park, Kansas, okay. native here. Hey. So redeemed by the king. Not, I'm not sure who you are. If you meet me on the street, let me know your real name, and uh, we'll go from there. Overland well, Park. That, that's, that's interesting. Great. That's interesting. Uh, Finders cult and a Franklin cover up. So I need to look that up. Oh. And Ann Child Harry is that Ann's Child Harry from the Spotify mobile app yeah. uh, from Ark of the Covenant said shitey host. We'll say crappy host. Crappy. Yeah. Well, she said the other word, but oh, well, yeah. she, well, it's okay. So we're we're ho- we're horrible. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's we're not fine. everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So thank you for that, uh, Child Harry. <laughs> uh, redeemed by the King coming in with another one for the from the paranormal. Uh, Russell C M is a hundred percent correct. I'm trying to figure out who that. Is. It doesn't matter. That's Go been ahead. A while ago. I used are. to run a team in North Texas. I stopped doing it after. I became born again. Believers should not be playing with the paranormal. The Bible is clear regarding this. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I would have to. I'd have to agree with you. Redeemed for the King, and that's our uh, native. Anytime I say redeemed for the King, native Kansas, yeah. Overland Park. Uh, Josh Ray. Now this was uh, this was a comment that was put on our website. Josh Ray went to our website. And there's a contact form on the website. You can leave a comment there. He said, "Love the show." Hey guys. I listen on Apple Podcast. I love listening to you guys. I think it's great that Joey discovered Wakanda's secret in the Roswell episode. (laughs) 
Yes, that was a very fun event that Joey did not know about Wakanda's secret wow. in that episode. I think a Titanic episode would be cool. There are a lot of weird cover-ups that I found in research. Thanks for all your hard work. I appreciate that, Josh. I want, I want, Good job. I want my daughter to watch Titanic. Um, You mean the, the real one or the documentary? Uh, the movie. Oh, you mean... Uh, yeah. That one? Yeah. Okay. She's not interested. Which daughter? My youngest daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just checking. Okay, here's a weird username. I'm not even going to try. You can obviously, if you're watching the live stream, see it on the show. Um, <laughs> I'll just say yeah. nine. Okay. They just put some gibberish. From the Spotify mobile app, Israel Part 3. If you're worried to say your name, then please don't give vague details that absolutely make no sense. Says the guy that didn't leave a real username. <laughs> That's true. That's pretty vague. So I'm not even sure what he's referring to. Maybe sometimes sometimes we'll record podcast podcast, and I'll I'm like I don't know what I said. Yeah. Maybe somebody maybe maybe somebody gave a vague name or something. Vague details. I don't know. All right, Mister Turkey, <clears throat> Mister Turkey back fan of the show uh, from the Area 51 episode on the Spotify app research. About the house in the middle of Area 51. Now, you you mentioned that on that show. No, I didn't that, mention the house. Yeah, I didn't did, know you, about the house. I thought you said there was a house uh-uh. in the middle of the uh-uh. the middle of the middle uh, of area. No, and all the research I did, I never saw anything about a house. You're kidding. Didn't know. All right, he said there's a house in the middle of it. They've been fighting for the government, or they've been fighting the government for many years to get the rights back to the land in the house. They stole the land and built around the house. Oh. Okay, that makes oh. sense. That tracks with our government. Yeah. Stealing land and building. All right, Lil Guapo coming in hard on Area 51 from the Spotify app. As a hardcore f- hardcore fan of the show, possibly the number one fan. Okay, Lil Guapo just said it. There he just he said, I'm the number one fan, and no one's going to take that from me. Okay. He said, I love the rabbit hole episodes. Do more. Loved Byron's vacuum impression at 14 minutes and five seconds. He is now Byron Dyson. That's awesome. (laughs) And I was doing an air horn, by the way. Hey, it's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price, price line. <laughs> but it sounds like Lil a Guapo it equated like that to a Dyson, which would be very impressive if that's what it sounded like. If his sounds like that, I need to hear it. No, you've got good. You've got good sounds. <laughs> Everybody else loves it. Me, not so much because I hear it all the time. Oh, anyway. Also, glad to hear from the wives. So, little Guapo oh. saying, oh, hold on. Let me get your oh, camera and go Lord. back. There's Guapo there. Okay. Hey. There's Sue. Susan is on the camera. So, okay. Oh, um, oh, Harriet Clark uh, from the Area 51. Should we mention who that is? Close relative? No, let's be, let's be secretive. Should we be vague? That's my mommy. Okay, Harriet Clark. That's Susan's mom. mom said on the Spotify mobile app, Enlightened commentary. Love listening to this podcast. You go, guys. She's always you go. You go, guys. You go, girl. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that. For her to be the age that she is, she does pretty well. Pretty well. I mean, of course, there's times that she doesn't do very well with, with some stuff as far as computer and stuff like that. Yeah, she does hooking, pretty good for her blue, age. Any kind of wireless stuff, it's, uh, it's going to be tricky. Yeah, and as soon as the first thing happens, I'm like, Mom reboot there's something about this magical reboot just, just reboot. yeah something happens when you reboot yeah it's always magical oh yeah oh hold on let me switch the camera back okay i'm new at this whatever uh herb dean forrest from the die glocker episode from the spotify app said oh my gosh wiener schnazi had me laughing out loud at work now my co-workers are staring at me thank you guys <laughs> nice Wiener Schnazzi. Yeah, I remember that. So appreciate that, Dean. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's that that weird username again that mm-hmm. said we were vague. 
Um, he said on the Roswell episode, fun math quiz. What is 2020 divided by 666? For the answer, look up Joe Biden's 2020 DNC text number. It's the number on the podium he was running for in president <clears throat> for president in 2020. Do you remember when he was trying to give it out that one time? Oh, dude, he, he, he was, was like, like uh, it was uh, it was um, it was bum fumble. It was bad. There I we mean, go. Well, I mean, it was like and uh, and uh, um uh um. What am I doing here? Yeah, what am I doing here? So anyway, um, well, I gotta go back now. Oh, I messed it up. Just driving back home today, I, we're Where driving were and I see a Biden Harris. Yeah, the um, bumper was. <laughs> <laughs> the bumper was flat. Bumper off. was hanging off the car. But I'm like, why would anybody? And you were like, that's that looked like Biden Harris. Why would anybody? Yeah, that. Yeah. You said like it remind, Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Like, why would anybody still have a bumper sticker that says, I mean, aren't you embarrassed? I don't know. I'm just well, anyway. going to be embarrassed. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. All right. Jay well, <clears throat> Jay Yeeke's back. Um, Area 51. Nice episode. I got a few ideas for a show or two. I think Aunt Jenny Johnson would be a great one. Okay. I need to write that down. Mm -hmm. And maybe, how about maybe... One of how Winston County, Alabama, tried to succeed from the country. Succeed, not succeed. I thought it was succeed. Oh, he even spelled it wrong. Mm -hmm. It's succeed, mm -hmm. S E C. But you know, you know what? Somebody's typing on a mobile app, so whatever. Yeah, well, I was talking about you. Well, succeed. <clears throat> I like to succeed from the country. <laughs> uh, he said, mixing it up may be good. That's a Winston County, Alabama. Winston County, Alabama. Roll, Tide, Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. All right, uh, here's the random vague uh, username again uh, from Area 51. Please, please, please look up and listen to Jesse Shetzabar. Shet Shetzbotar. Got it. Okay. She's a regular on the Watchman podcast. Matter of fact, I did look that up, and it, well, it was very interesting. And she is a regular on the Watchman. If you don't know this, we had the Watchman <clears throat> uh, on this podcast talking about when his experience at uh, J6. He has a podcast all about that. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Uh, Redeemed by the King. That's uh, our local here on Area 51. God, a lot of Area 51. Great episode, everyone. Uh, if you want to hear from Bob Lazar himself, he appeared on a documentary. Uh, I remember the reason he said Documentary. <laughs> no, the reason he said that. You remember I screwed that up. Yeah. I said documentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and he's putting, good job, Redeem. Because I did say documentary, and it's yeah. documentary, and that's why he spelled it like that. <laughs> Good job. That is funny. Uh, he said he uh, did a documentary in 2018 called Bob Lazar, Area 51, and Flying Saucers. Very interesting. Much love, y'all. Uh, Herb Dean Forrest back again with Area 51. I would love to have heard more of the interview from the mortician. Excellent episode. <clears throat> well. Really? Because was a, that was a lot. Well, Herb, I will tell you this. That was a lot. I just played a very little bit. If yeah. you want to hear the full, it is on YouTube. That's where I got it from. So if you just go look up, if you go back to our episode, I forget the guy's name. You should put a link in the episode. A link in the description below. Yeah. Why don't you do <laughs> link that? in the description. If you want to call the show, it's 913-717-9979. Uh, we're, we're, you don't realize we're live right now. Yeah. In the world. Right. Just we're sitting here live. People could just view us anywhere in the world. And we're just sitting here live. You're trying to make me have a panic attack. Well, I'm just saying we're in a room in an undisclosed location, and we're it, it's out in the Ethernet. Is it's it not, undisclosed? Well, yeah, sure. Um, but anyway, I, yeah, that's a good idea. I may go back and put that link in there. You should. For the uh, the YouTube, the full YouTube video for right. that mortician. Diane K. on Instagram for the Roswell. This was such a great episode. Thank you, Diane. Yay. And the vague guy again with the Shroud of Turin episode. He said, the fact its depiction is that of a white man, then it's obviously fake. Mm. But I didn't, I didn't think the depiction was white, a white guy. How I mean, you, you can't tell a color on a shroud. Yeah. Well, maybe he means like it looks like a white man's face. Instead of wait, like wait a, a minute. A Jewish what? nose or something. I don't know. Well, I didn't think the nose was in there. I mean, I don't know. I don't think you can tell. It looks like kind of like mud. You mean a face structure? Like there's a white face, and there's a black face, and then there's a Chinese face? You mean Jesus wasn't English? Um, no, I thought he was European. Right. From the uh, Nasikoski Jews. 
Um, let's see. Anyway, Shre- yeah, good one. Good one. I agree. I agree. Tyler Messer. This is from our Facebook page. If you didn't know we had one, we do occasionally get some people out there. <clears throat> but Tyler Mess- Messler. Messer, sorry. From the Roswell episode. Love the show, guys. Doing great. Please check out Jesse Shets Botar. Okay, so that. That's uh, two. I know. I did two and two. Actually, I, I reached out to Tyler. And where was that episode? Where did he mention that? Where was that at? Uh, we just said it. I don't know. Oh, here anyway. it is. No, it's not anywhere. Find it. I said anyway. Oh, um, oh, here it is. Oh, the vague name. Yeah. I got him. Now, you can't be vague anymore on Instagram. It was Tyler. I reached out to him. I said, is this your username? Uh, okay. And he said, yeah, that's me. Okay, gotcha. So, we got the same Tyler Messer. So, we, we got to the bottom of that. Ooh, for, <laughs> for a change. You don't have to. You don't have to. I have to. Every time you look at the camera, I get to switch over to you. So, there you go. Uh, so, Tyler Messer. Um, love the show, guys. Doing great. Please check out Jesse on the Watchmen podcast. And please get home. Slice to stop. Oh, <laughs> Get home, slice <laughs> to stop mumble speaking. I said, and get home, yeah. Slice, oh, get home, slice to stop mumbling, mumble, mumble speaking, speaking into the mic, which I just did. I was just doing a mumble speak. He said, "This ain't cool. This ain't a cool <laughs> jazz show. It's like two dudes and a phantom personality they share that no one can hear." <laughs> wow, wow! You're talking about you, Joe, hey, Joey. If you're watching right now, which is possible. They're talking about you. Your home slice, and they want you to stop mumbling into the mic, which I thought we already addressed this. Maybe he's already stopped. He's a low talker. Well, sure. Yeah. He he's said, this ain't a cool jazz show. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Well, Thank you, Tyler. A, he does have a very soothing kind of... Yeah, he puts me to sleep here. I mean, yeah. sometimes y'all have had to wake me up. I'm like, Byron, it's your turn to talk. Okay. Uh, thank you for that, Tyler, and I thank you for finding out what your real name is. Turtle Sanchez. On the Denver episode, on the Spotify app, said the show was great. Always a good listen. Listen on my way home from work. Was a little thrown off when I heard my Instagram name shout out mid-show LOL. Well, that's what we do here. Well, we, we, we've we tried to stop doing regular topic shows. That's why we're doing this one. This is a one-off, mm-hmm. this show here. So you probably won't hear a shout out during regular topic shows. But Turtle, shout out to you. Turtle Sanchez, we're shouting you out right now mid-show on the comment section show. Uh, The True Slayer, Birds Aren't Real episode, quickly becoming one of my favorite pods. Birds are not only fake, but most are dicks, too. They shite on my car. Great episode, though. I agree with you 100% because, for some reason, these... What are they? Doves. They, oh, they, yeah, the doves. They've taken up, like, roosting on my back porch. And there is bird poop down the side of the house. Are you I haven't noticed that. we got to like, get the pressure washer out. I'm, like, washer sitting out. on the rocking chair, and there's little white spots. My granddaughter comes up onto the deck, and there's, like, little white spots all over the deck. I'm like, don't step on the white spots. Bird poop. Mm. Yeah. It's everywhere. Okay. Over it. All right, if you want to call in the show, it's 913-717-9979. Uh, have you heard from uh, your friend in Bama yet? No, I haven't. No, see, check the text. Oh, if she wanted to call she's it. doing something. I wonder if um, I'm, I'm making sure. Maybe you should call the show dude, and see if this stop. is working. Just stop. It's good. It's working. Uh, just stop. I figured somebody it, would Nobody call wants to now. call. They're doing stuff. No, it's dude, if they want to call, they want to leave their own comment, especially Turtle Sanchez. He wants to call in right now. Okay, uh, what about little? She Guapa? said she can't hear anything. She said she's sure it's her. What? <laughs> Wait, we need to find out if our audio's working. Oh, the camera. Uh, is our audio working? Should we go? Should we go check something out? No, dude. Just roll with it. She it, said it's she sure it's her. The, well, how could it be you if you don't have your volume up? Mm, she's special. All right, Christy Zarlingo on the Skinwalker episode. First, I love Susan and Kayla on the episodes. Second, whoa, I got to go watch these series now. Byron, I don't know what that emoji is. That's a ha 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 ha. It's a ha ha ha. 
Is it? Yeah. Uh, you it's mean a, a, a colon with an O? It could be a wow. You know, it's a Byron, wow. and then uh, that's after it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll have to. Dude, you know what? Skinwalker Ranch. Don't do it. Don't waste your time. What? Oh, it's a great. Okay. Dude, hey, season four this year, mid twenty twenty four is coming out. You don't. It's only miss because it. I hate the whole reality dun we, dun dun yeah, we, aspect we, of it. Yeah, we talked about that on the show. Yeah, we can't stand it because of that. Yeah. Uh, Becky from the Illuminati episode, and the question was, are you a member? Um, and I, I look back on some, that was some of our first episodes. That was our Secret Society series. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really ashamed of asking that question. That was a really dumb question. Are you a member? Are you a member? <clears throat> of the Illuminati. Oh. <laughs> Becky said, no, I'm not a member. I'm a Christian. Jesus Christ is my Lord. And... My Savior, He is my rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. He is my Savior. Amen. Thank you, Becky, for clearing that up, that you're not a member of the Illuminati. Sean Sosa on the Shroud of Turin said, The image on the Shroud looks Middle Eastern to me. Mm. Okay. 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 So we got that. Douglas Pierce, Skinwalker Ranch, said, Great episode. Y'all are doing great. God bless y'all. Smile from Area 51 said, Bro, the Area 51 raid actually made me mad. I want to go, I want to go so bad with full intention of Naruto running into that yes. site. I think, yeah, didn't they try to do that? It was going to be full on Naruto run. Yeah, but I think they, they chicken out. Oh, we got to do that. Um, Kyle from the UFO episode, uh, Operation Bluebeam. Have you ever, the question was, have you ever encountered UFO? He said no. Uh, Smile, again on Skinwalker. Wait, Smile did what? Area 51. Okay, Smile commented on Skinwalker. What's y'all's opinion on the Miami Mall? And we did talk about that uh, on a couple episodes around that time frame. Uh, y'all didn't discuss, discuss that on the latest Nephilim episode. I think it was one, but what is y'all's take on that? Uh, my take is, I don't know what the heck it was. Oh. It was something weird. There was a lot of cops, and it's, for some reason, I, I think our take was... They have technology that evades cameras. Like a predator. Okay. They can bend light, and you can't see them. Mm. People think that aliens come in, and they're just the same technology as we. Do we have? So you think they're invisible, or well, they can go invisible? They have, they have technology that can, yeah, that's why we can't, it's always, they're evasive. They can't see it. Well, know. when you think about it, when you video stuff, it doesn't look the same as because like I was on as the, a visual eye, right? I was on the phone with my friend and I was like, "Oh my gosh, the sky is so beautiful! It's so pretty. The pink, you got to see it." And right. I'm videoing it, and it, and it looked just, horrible. It's nothing. But you know what I did do? I went. What did you do? Do I shared my screen okay. with her? And what and happened? When I shared my screen, she could see exactly what I was seeing. No, wait a minute. Why? Why is that a difference? I don't know. Because you're Maybe it's sharing it's the screen. Of the live, right? Which it video is just getting frames yeah. per second. It's just taking a bunch of pictures really fast. All I know is when I shared live, it looked amazing, but when I videoed or took a picture, it looked like Hada. Okay. Okay. All right, Buck Pointner uh, from the Skinwalker Ranch said, "Love it. I don't think it's real. I could be wrong. Just keeping an open mind. That's fair." Lil Lo Guapo from the Kurt Cobain episode said, solid episode. Didn't think y'all would cover this. The Nephilim killed him, though. Not what's-her-name. So, so he's saying a Nephilim killed Kurt, not okay. Courtney. Um, I, well, Courtney didn't do it anyway. She had someone well, do it, so maybe she So had she a hired Nephilim. a Nephilim. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you, Guapo. Mm -hmm. Turtle Sanchez uh, from the rabbit hole that we just uh, dropped, episode 68. Uh, it's a great show as all, uh, always. Wait, no, that was that was a later rabbit hole. 68, that was on back. <clears throat> uh, living in California, I'm pretty sure everyone has felt at least 10 earthquakes in their lifetime. I've never felt one. Uh, sometimes it sounds like a loud boom, something to experience. Yeah, I'm okay with not. I've never... I've never felt it. But um, I just want to say this, Turtle. I didn't know you were in California until I just read this comment. <clears throat> but... Out of all the 50 states we're in, California was at the top of our states that had the most listeners in. And it just dropped to number two. Texas just took over. Oh. 
So, thank you, Turtle. Yeah, thanks, Alabama people. <clears throat> uh, adv- <laughs> Advocates Form 7 from the Instagram account on the Edward Snowden episode said, The CIA is torturing me. They have access to my brain and my body using remote telepathy slash modern MK Ultra. Everyday American, can you please stop the CIA project and fight for my rights? Follow me. They are stopping me from breathing, manipulating my muscles, and so much more help. Now, when I... Should I have reached out and helped? Uh, I, I just thought it was a joke, but now I'm reading it now. And, and the you know, I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on here? That's, Is this that, person in trouble? That's sad. I'm sorry. This was a... Uh, <clears throat> Wow, that's okay. I'm sorry, Advocate. Uh, mm-hmm. may, I'll, maybe I'll try to reach out to you after the show. Uh, 217 Emmy from the Instagram account, uh, Edward Snowden episode, the abominable snowman, actually. I'm not sure what that means. <clears throat> so you should go back and listen. Probably. Yeah, before you, so you Prob- will know what they're talking about. Well, I mean... Do you really have to? Mr. Turkey, here we go. Turkey's back in here on the Chemtrails episode. Just dropped a couple of weeks ago. Sign me up to live chat with you guys on that 100th episode. Okay. I can do that. When we hit 100, that'll probably be a big deal around here. And uh, I'll give you a call because you you gave me your number. So I'll give you a call, Mr. Turkey. Great job as always. Thanks. The fake soups from the Instagram account on the Chemtrails episode. Hey, guys, started watching y'all about a week or two ago when Ryan Garcia did his whole thing. And I wanted to find out more about the Bohemian Grove. I enjoyed the podcast. Keep it up. Well, it's funny you said that <clears throat> because our Nephilim episode was at our top episode, and Bohemian Grove just knocked it out of the number one spot. Now it's the number one spot. So if you want to find out more about the Grove, we got an episode for you. Um, Shasha Bish, Shasha Bish from the Spotify mobile app on the Fluoride episode said i love your guys podcast i've got a co-worker on board with you guys as well keep up the good work well thank you shasha that's awesome appreciate it savannah johnson on spotify on the kim trails episode actually ashley babbitt was standing behind a crowd of people that were trying to break into the senate when the security bust through the doors the actual rioters were knocked back backwards that's tragic yes it was tragic it was was horrible it's horrible and uh, I like that Trump's referring to them as the... Oh, they're hostages. Hostages, yeah. yeah. January 6th. Hostages. Anthony from the Spotify app on the 411 episode, you aren't going to believe, you're not going to believe it until it personally affects your life as far as your UFO UAP talk. I recently captured my own proof of NHI that looked like a prototypical... Alien. Alien. Just saying. Just saying, it's as wild, it's wild as crap, scary. I've never seen, you know, when I was a kid, I always was looking up at the stars, always. I loved cloud watching and making, you know, looking at shapes and stuff like that. And I also loved at nighttime laying on the hood of the car and the driveway and just looking up at the stars. And one time when we were in Springville, Alabama, it was really, really dark back then. That was not as you know, much city light. And I didn't see, I think it was a um, satellite. Have you ever seen a satellite at night? Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Just kind of slow, yeah. Well, no, this was fast. It was very fast. Oh, yeah, I mean. Going across the sky. You know what I mean? Slower than a meter, right? Right, exactly. But I've always wanted to see something like that. Never have. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, Yeah, you'll see behind the scenes there. Okay, um... Now, here, I will apologize for this because I do know that we have some listeners on Apple, as uh, Josh Ray said. He is a, he is a listener on Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. However, like Spotify is like 90% of our listeners, they listen to it on that app. But there are Apple Podcasts out there. Mm-hmm. And I sometimes forget to go out there and check the comments. And this comment was back in January. Uh, and I missed it. And wow. The title of this comment from Stephen19 was the podcast on the Jesuits was so bad. Oh. Yeah, it was bad, he thought. So first of all, they couldn't even pronounce the name of Ignatius correctly. Did I just nail that? Uh, Sure. I got it. Good job, boys. So then they got into how the Jesuits and Hitler were in some kind of partnership. It would have taken 
it would have taken like 10 second Google search to find out that Hitler hated Jesuits and had them over a hundred of them murdered. Then they started quoting from a guy who was a so-called Catholic priest and a Jesuit, Alberto, Alberto Rivera, who they quoted and said, the Jesuits are just devil worshipers. Again, another 10 second Google search. They would have found out that this Riviera guy was never a Jesuit, nor was he ever a Catholic priest. He was a con man and spread anti Catholic conspiracies. If you have questions about some Jesuits, maybe call one up and ask them what they're about, or at least ask a Catholic. Uh, okay. Thank you, Stephen. Nineteen. Maybe we'll have you on the show, probably, and Catholic. we'll do a follow up on the Jesuits to, uh, you know, just destroy everything that we said, and we'll take your word for it. How about that. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Stephen. Nineteen. Also on the Apple Podcast, Margot Ship of Haven. I like y'all, but you definitely need to do some, quote, actual research on the topics you're speaking of. And you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have been Wikipedia, the subject you're speaking of. You actually need to do a deep dive into the topics and not just go off on the first thing that pops up on Google. I agree. Thank you, Margot Ship of Haven. I agree. I don't get any of my stuff off Wikipedia. I get all my stuff off Chad GBT, whatever. <laughs> uh, smile from the rabbit hole from the Spotify mobile app. First rabbit hole I've listened to, W's in the chat. Does that mean wins in the chat? Uh, W's in the chat. Great stuff. I think I'm going to invest in pigeons to troll the government now. W's in the chat. Thank you, smile. Don't let them poop on my house. All right, John McCarter from the Spotify mobile app, Mandela. He said, I remember, that's a Mandela episode. Mm -hmm. um, I remember sex in the city. Now it's sex and the city. People are trying to say it was just mispronounced, but I remember for a fact it was sex in the city. Now, me personally, I've always... Sex in the city. Sex and the city. Oh, see, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with him because I'm... It was sex. never sex in the city. Well, why wouldn't it be sex in the city? You're having well, sex in the city. You're not having sex no. in the city. See, here's the thing. When I saw that title and I and I said it out loud, that show, sex and... I was like, that's weird. Why would they name it sex in the city? It should be sex in the city. That's in my mind. I thought that. Uh -huh. So that's probably why a lot of people thought it was sex in the city because that's what it should have been. Mm -hmm. Or that's what it sounds like it should be. Sex and the city. I mean, what kind of title is that? <laughs> and the city? What are you doing? Anyway. Sky Gilbridge for the Epstein episode. Amazing as always. So the word on the street, P. Diddy, is also like Epstein. Some weird stuff about Michael Jackson coming out. Candace Owens won't even talk about it. Mm. By the way, Candace just got fired from the Daily Wire. Well, they didn't say she got fired. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. She, they bought her out. Also, okay, so we got a few comments from Sky Gilbridge mm -hmm. on the Kurt Cobain. Uh, Sky said, love this. Also, have you guys looked into these 60s slash 70s rock bands that were that their parents were CIA, like the Doors? See, Interesting. And I don't like the Doors. I never liked the Doors. I don't know. <laughs> Riders on the way. What is it? Anything that had the in front of it. I didn't like the Who. I didn't like the Beatles. I didn't like the Doors. The doors. Yeah. Uh, if you want to call the show, it's 913-717-9979. We're quickly running out of time. Okay, let's go. Um, so if you want to call in the show and give a comment live, you can do that. Other than that, you're not going to make it. Um, Sky Gilbert also said on the rabbit hole, OMG, you read my comment. Aww. And Sky, I'm doing it again. Thank you so much. And yes, the ladies are right. I just meant the comments people leave... Till the end or something. Again, love the show, guys. So Sky was the one that mentioned, hey, don't read the comments up front. Read them at the end of the oh, show. Gotcha, so okay. Sky, guess what? This one's all this comments. One's, this, <laughs> one, this show's for you because we didn't leave it at the front or the end. It's, it's the entire show. <laughs> okay, so Shasha Bish again coming in on the rabbit hole episode that just dropped Friday. I love hearing you guys randomly go down the rabbit hole. Me and my coworker would love a shout out. Shauna and Billy. Some random welders in Ohio. Sweet. There we go. Shauna and Billy from the Shasha Beach. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for listening out there in Ohio. Little Guapo coming in on the rabbit hole. 
I started listening to this podcast for the topics. Now I stay for the personality. Rabbit hole Aww. is the best content. Keep us fed. Thank you, Guapo. Aww. So it's the it's the personality for me. You've got plenty of it. It's the personality for me. A uh, little Guapo. Thank you. Number one fan. Now, King Keegan Wolford, fifteen seventy three, on our YouTube channel, uh, commented on the rabbit hole. Few, uh, a few, oh yeah, yesterday. Dice, Dice Man, Man Enterprises. <laughs> Dice Man Enterprises goes harder than Kid Rock's fur coat at Woodstock '99. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keegan. That's what I'm talking about. If you want to go harder than Kid Rock's fur coat at Woodstock '99, just strap on. Well, not a strap on, but just oh, put the seatbelt on. That's what I meant. Not that. Uh, anyway. How about strapping? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, also, Co- Cajona, th- th- thirty six ninety nine from the YouTube channel on our Kim Trails episode. You guys should do an episode on Ryan Garcia and all the stuff he's been talking about. That's twice that yeah. somebody has mentioned Ryan, Ryan Garcia. Garcia. Let me go back to the main screen. Here we go. So not sharing the screen anymore. So that is all of our comments. We are caught up. Um, so I don't have to put uh, comments into a regular show. And I can't believe that took that long to do. I mean, we're 40. That's a 40. I thought it was going to be like a 20 minute show. Just an off show. No topic. Um, this is a fan show. Reading the comments. It's a live stream. By the way, if you want to call the show, 913-717-9979. And uh, you're out of time. You're not making it in here. <laughs> so sorry, you're calling so, in. If you're calling in later, yeah. If you're calling in later, I if might you be see making dinner. It, right. If you see the ticker, and you're watching this later, and you start calling the show. I'm not going to pick up because it's a Google phone number, and if the tab's not open, nobody's answering. Well, that's going to do it, folks. Um, that is a live stream. Well, of, thank you, everybody. For yeah, commenting thanks for the comments. I appreciate it. The love, the the show is not uh, going down. It's actually growing. Uh, we're all in, we're in 50 states, and we keep adding countries every day. And we're just people. Yeah, we're just people I mean, talking about weird stuff. I mean, sorry if we're not up to speed on some of the other people out there that do this type of stuff. But this is who we are, and this is what we do. And we're glad you're here along for the ride. You don't have to turn it. Why? <laughs> I can't believe I left that screen up. That means everybody's looking at it like an idiot. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. Well, th- this is my first uh, live stream. Well, not my first live stream. It's the first live stream with the camera set up that I have now. So it's very distracting. Sorry. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get some coffee. By the way, we're about to record some more episodes. Um, Should we I, change clothes? No. No. I mean, like, Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Like we're, it's a Here's new the deal. Here's the deal. I just want to give a teaser if you're listening to this. Here's here, here's the shows we got coming up, just so you can be ready. We've got Stonehenge coming up. We've got Nazca. What's the deal with Stonehenge? What's the deal with Stonehenge? We've got Nazca Lines coming up. We've got Night of the Long Knives coming up. If you didn't know about that, you're going to learn Hitler's Rise to Power. And we've got Vaccines. Why are they hurting America? That's coming up. So you want to pay attention? Those shows are going to be coming up, so... Susan, thank you. Let's get... Oh, you're on the camera. You've been on the camera the whole time. Thank you so much. Um, That's going to do it. Um, I appreciate everybody for listening. That's the comment show. Uh, Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe on all of our our channels, all of our Facebook stuff. Just go to bottomofthat.com, and you can find out all of our socials there. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Tune in next time. I'm not going to say next time. You might hear Byron say, hey, where's my pants? not going to do it. So anyway, have a good one.